Dear participants, on behalf of the Guru Nanak Center for Research, we welcome you to the day four of the International Industry Academia Conclave IIAC 2020 on redefining phytomedicines for post-COVID era. Today, 8th November 2020. Now, I request Dr. Savitri, Dean Academics, Guru Nanak College, to kindly welcome the gathering. Madam, please. A very pleasant afternoon to everybody present here. I deem it a privilege to be associated with the International Industry Academia Conclave 2020 under the aegis of Guru Nanak Center for Research. I would like to thank the Dean Research, Dr. J. Jayanti, for giving me this opportunity. The use of plants to sustain human health is as old as mankind, and this is underscored by the words of the Swiss German philosopher, physician, botanist, and astrologer Paracelsus that all that man needs for health and healing has been provided by God in nature. The challenge of science is to find it. Plants with their complicated nature of secondary metabolism have been the source of countless medicinal compounds and leads for drug discovery. The World Health Organization estimates that 80% of the population from developing countries rely mostly on traditional methods. In addition to this, WHO has listed around 21,000 plants which are known for their therapeutic potential around the world, among which 2,500 varieties are found around India, including 150 species with large-scale commercial usage. In India, Siddha is one among the three traditional medical systems practiced the other two being Ayurveda and Yunani. In Siddha medicine, Nilavendu Kudunir Churanam or NKC has been recommended for the preclusion and control of all types of viral infections and diseases. Nilavendu Kudunir is a herbal formulation comprising nine varieties of plant materials that is Nilavendu, Vetiver, Vlamichavir, Santanam, Pekudal, Korei Kirangu, Chukku, Milagu, and Patpatagam. Now, Nilavem Kudinir has been reported also to have therapeutic applications such as antiviral, antipyretic, antibacterial, anti ulcer, antioxidant, analgesic, to name just a few. It has also been stated to have immunostimulant uh, qualities. Unlike modern medicines, the antique herbal medicines do not possess any side effects. Indeed, they establish natural resistance to alleviate the viral infection by boosting the immune system. I am very happy to welcome Dr. L. Karthik, Project Lead, Synthetic Biology, Salem Microbes Private Limited Salem, and President, Society of Chemical and Synthetic Biology, who has agreed to address us on Kabasura Kudinir, Miracle Indian Siddha Medicine for COVID-19 and share his experiences. I hope all of us who are watching this are really going to take away a few tips and take care of ourselves. Once again, I would like to express my thanks to Dean Research for the opportunity given to me to be associated with this wonderful event. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am for those uh, detailed description of uh, Siddha and other uh, Indian traditional medicines. Now, it's my proud privilege to introduce our uh, today's resource person, Dr. L. Karthik, who's working as the project lead synthetic biology, Salem Microbes Private Limited, Salem. Dr. Karthik is a PDF who had worked as postdoctoral scientist in East China University of Science and Technology and another postdoctoral scientist uh, in natural products at Shanghai Jiao Tong University, China. He had finished his PhD in microbiology from VIT University in 2013. He had, under, he had handled projects worth many lakhs from different government and private agencies. He has a rich research experience and academic working experience. He had received many awards and to few and to name a few the fellow member of Linnean Society London PSG Nano Challenge 2019 to start incubation support 
He has got the second prize in Marine Drugs Conference organized by Shanghai Pharmaceutical Association, Shanghai, China. He has got Young Scientist Award in 2016 from Indian Association of Applied Microbiologists. He has also got Research Scholar Award in 2012 from VAT. He had got 2200 Young Scientist 2012 Fellowship from DST Government of India. He is also EMBO Fellowship for to attend Global Exchange Lecturer Workshop for Molecular and Evolutionary Genetics of Malaria held at NIMR New Delhi in India. He has got grants from DST, DBT and he has also won Best Student Award in 2005. His research interests are marine natural products, metagenomics, synthetic biology, microbiology, optogenetics, plant natural products, malaria, cancer, nanomedicine and drug delivery. He is, he is, held, he is holding a lot of positions and honors. To name a few, he is the president of Society of Ke Chemical and Synthetic Biology India. He is the review editor on the editorial board of Microbial Symbiosis. Associate Editor, Current Chinese Engineering Science Journal, Bentham Science. He is the Associate Member of Green Chemistry Network. He is the head. He was the head of E-Cell SIET Coimbatore in 2019. He has, to his credits, total of 62 Scopus indexed publication and a total of 73.215 impact factor. To his credits, he has got four patents applied filled and two under preparation. He has got two technology transfers and he has written four books and ten book chapters. He has delivered 30 plenary and guest lectures and his H index is 20 and highest impact factors journal is 10.72. With us we have a very eminent scientist to share his views. Now I request Dr. L. Karthik to share his views on Kabasura Kudinir. Sir, please. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Dr. Magendra Kumar, for your uh, kind introduction and uh, invitation to deliver the talk on the Kabasara Kudini. And I also thank the Dean of Academic and Dean of Research uh, for uh, nice invitation and the management of Gunana College. Thank you one and all for your uh, kind invitation for this uh, International uh, Industry and Academia Conclave 2020. Okay, so now I will move to that. Uh, my talk. Uh, so I hope uh, you can see my PPT, everyone. Right, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So good afternoon, one and all. Once again. So today I am going to share some of the things about what is Kapasar Kudin and how it's really working, whether it's working or not. Still, we have the uh, doubt whether the Tamil Nadu government and even recently Andhra government also should switch on this Kapasar Kudin. So let's uh, we discuss some of the points. So first thing is, uh, we all know that what is COVID now. Everyone know who is in science, non-scientific people, everyone know that. But still, what is the worst thing is, is India is the place of herbal plants. Okay, we are natural God gifted the place, but still we are in the position two in the worldwide the COVID-19. After you say we are in the second position. What is the reason means we not used properly our traditional system, the things. See, China also people heard is where the, the COVID-19 started, but they controlled very efficiently with the help of their TCM. It's called traditional Chinese medicine. They not only followed just allopathy, the allopathy with the combination of uh, the TCM, they effectively control the COVID-19 there. But India, it took very lot of times to associate it with allopathy and uh, our Indian uh, med uh, herbal Ayurvedic system. So I hope after seeing the evidence and the comments should initiate still more fast to cure this disease. So we in this COVID, we all know that it has a different uh, target regions. So in this, some of the main thing is, if you see the structure of the COVID, nuclear capsid, it's called the N-protein, spike glycoprotein and membrane protein, envelope protein and the RNA, hemoglobin, estrous dimer. So worldwide, a lot of uh, research groups working on the different targets. 
So before going into that, what is the importance of our plant treatment? See, uh, one of the famous two theories are germ theory and terrain theory. See, germ theory is created by the famous uh, scientist uh, who is father of uh, medical microbiology, Louis Pasteur. And the terrain theory is developed, proposed by Anthony Bicar. Okay, so, so, so if you wait, I want to tell very layman language, very simple thing is, germ theory is it will tell once the fish got infected, he should give the vaccinator. But terrain theory will tell that if you clean the tank, you will not get the disease at all, right? So this is the principle behind our Indian traditional medicine system. We not try to cure, we also have the option to cure the disease, but our concept is to improve the immune system by naturally. In the olden time, we called as a party by them. Okay, so we call it as in Tamil, that means food is a medicine. So if we take the proper dietary food, proper way, we not get any disease because our food system in the olden time, weekly three to four, days we will take the green leaves in our food system but now due to the kfc mcdonald lot of fast junk foods came noodles and others we forget our totally our indian food system at all this is the biggest thread to us because we are all following the europe and the american food system but american and europe people they are want to shift to our system here i want to show some of the examples to you people so as I said, plant and mushroom is mostly used in the tradition time. Even even under the ancestor, 50,000 years ago also they used medicinal plants for the treatment. Like yarrow, chamele, kind of plants they used for the treatment. Even Iceman age, the old mummy recently they found, they found that they used the mushroom, it's a fungi type, they used for internal parasitic infection to cure the diarrhea. So what is the role of this plant and mushroom? So plant and mushroom, they believe that it can able to modulate our immune cell activities. It's not only killing that, it also boosts our immune system. Particularly, we all know that most of the plants are given in water as a solvent. But modern scientific world, for the research, if you see most of the people, they use methanol, ethanol kind of solvent extraction. But here we have the clear evidence compared to the other solvent Organic solvents, water give the good activity. So here you can see that paper. So as I said that the Iceman used a natural laxative and antibiotics, it's nothing but the fungus name, Pipatorus petulinus. Okay, it produces a compound called agaric acid. So this is a powerful weapon it used to cure the diarrhea, the Iceman time. So as I said in the ancient, in, uh, in Asia, the two famous systems is one is TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, and another one is Indian Ayurvedic medicine. But these two preparations, mostly they used mushroom and plant for their formulation mostly. But as I said, in the Indian system, still we lack and awareness, I can tell we are lack of awareness. If we what is the use of this medicine? We are always asked the question now, the modern generation people ask why I want to take the plant. I will take some tablet and I'll go. But the, the allopathy tablets and others, it's most of the compound isolated from this plant only. Which is, I told, we take it as a food. But now they're extracting compound from that and they're selling in the market. We are happy to buy those things instead of taking the natural one. Okay. So around 30% of American consume herbal remedies. As I said, now they are shifting to the our uh, concept, traditional uh, Indian Ayurvedic system. You can see 30% of American consume herbal medicines and natural health supplement. So annual sales is, you can see, just 5 million US dollars per year. Okay, not only that, several US and UK companies are uh, involved in this uh, research. You can see some of the things. Companies I had distorted here, and what is the area they are working? The Ansel Pharmaceuticals, San Francisco, USA, California. They are working sleep and anxiety disorders, and CB Technologies is working on the respiratory infection. So there, are several companies are working. But in India, if you see herbal research area is very weak, and only few research institutes and uh, few companies are working, and they are also not able to uh, use any advanced technologies to prove scientifically and this is some of the common botanical dietary supplements sold in uh, us you can see a lot of uh, 
personal brands what they are using and as i said generally the phytochemicals which is extracted commonly used the for uh, the below mentioned the solvents water methanol ethanol acetone hexane and chloroform most of the things so as i said when you go to the treatment in traditional water is a major source that they used to give this plant herbals you can see the plant itself uh, when we mix with water it have able to extract a lot of important molecules anthocyanin glycoprotein lectins polysaccharides particularly protein peptide and saponins and tannins these are all the things are extracted using water even though methanol have listed most of the compounds but still as i said methanol is a chemical solvent it leads to some side effects so water can be the best choice so here the things before covid 19 we faced one more thing is sars so during sars several medicinal plants and its extracts reported as a very good activity towards this sars covid so covid 19 uh, genetic uh, information most of the thing is similar to the sars only so not only uh, that activity as i said the immunomodulatory potential so immunomodulatory has the immuno stimulant immuno suppressant it has a different classification so most of the medicinal plant you can see here agarus calmus what is the extract they used to water and ethanol and what is the effect when you see this all the studies you can clearly see wherever they used water extraction based and is the polysaccharides are there okay and the effect is very positive but when they used the ethanol methanol and other solvents you can see that it have the no effect at all so it's a clear indicate when you use the what as a molecule the main ingredients called the polysaccharide is coming and it induces the immune system particularly both acute as well as uh, innate immunity both things activate very well so now we saw that the thing is uh, one is immunomodulatory and antibacterial activity and the modern concept called as a gut microbiota what is that see we all know that our tradition time when uh, diarrhea came and all we not took any tablets and all right still if you go and ask your uh, grandfather and grandmother they will tell okay immediately take some curd to stop diarrhea they will tell because the curd have that probiotic bacteria called as a lactobacillus and lactococcus okay when this microbiota enter into the body it will produce a bactericidal kind of compound it is capable to kill vibrio kind of pathogens which is a cause the diarrhea so what it means so when we got the infection our microbiota will go out that is a thing scientists are telling when you take the fast food like a noodles and burgers kind of things our gut microbiota is getting affecting which is naturally present in our body but when you take the plant and mushroom kind of natural food is it the microbiota is enhancing by nature okay these are all the common uh, dominant microflora present in our body so 12% of actinobacteria i don't know how many people hear that most of the, our antibiotic 70% antibiotic what is there in the market is produced by the actinobacteria class okay so we don't need to take the tablet if you take proper food the actinobacteria grow naturally and it inhibit the all the pathogens okay and 39% percentage is bacteroidites and 49 is the firmicutes 40% lactobacilli as i said and 40% streptococci 20% are, are enterobacteria so as i said that dietary polysaccharide i showed in the previous studies the plant had the polysaccharide in the water molecule but generally our immune system or our, our uh, digestive system our gastric and intestine can't able to digest this uh, polysaccharides so our natural human biota what it have will capable to convert this uh, diet polysaccharide into the short chain fatty acid okay it can it's a water soluble molecule it act as a immunomodulatory and also it capable to kill the several pathogens okay so recently they proved in one mushroom is ganoderma lucidum is used in uh, several countries uh, this is a mushroom ganoderma is, a, is one of the biggest mushroom used in several treatment okay so they found this uh, diet polysaccharide so this is the entire system as i said the water extraction have the hydrophilic compounds polysaccharide and it can using gut microbiota it converted into short chain fatty acid it act as a immunomodulatory activity 
so these are all the some of the major constituent present in herbal uh, drugs and these are all the major uh, bacteria present in our gut microbiota is converting this major compound into the utilizable one for our body like a short fatty acid phenolic acid uh, urethylenes epigenetic products lysogenetic lactones this is all is converted by gut microbiota only so now come to the things as dean academic uh, academics man spoke that when the nelavimbu kudini when uh, in india two years ago a lot of people have the dengue fever is affected so during that time nelavimbu could really worked very well in our ancient time itself it's proposed but we not aware no scientific evidence after that they created evidence in in which more model and proved that it can able to kill the dengue virus the same way now this time they have another two proportion nelavimbu kudini as well as the kapusara kudini in tamil nadu as i say tamil nadu mostly now they are distributing the kapusara kudini so what it contain if you see is composition chukku melagu lavangam see you can see that all these ingredients are day to day life what you are using to prepare the food in india so totally 15 Com- composition uh, component they are using part used for the preparation of this kapusara kudini so what our team did we took as a spike protein as a target molecule as i showed the several target uh, the researchers are working first we thought okay let's go it is work we initiated on the march so let's we check what are this 15 plants having the compound and how much uh, efficiency it capable to bind with the spike protein we tested so you can see here i listed what are the biological name of the 15 plants used in the kapusar kudini preparation and what are the effective molecules isolated so far from that when we listed this and we saw is efficiency binding efficiency towards the covid 19 spike protein you can see all this minus 6 minus 5 so minus uh, things that indicate it has a more binding efficiency uh, efficiency towards the covid 19 spike protein so is a clearly indicate this plant are the all 15 compound have the much more efficiency than other all the plant extra combination so it click on our mind yeah the kapusara kudini has something but this in silico study evidence alone is not enough to prove it's working well because this in silico is just telling what is the molecule present in the plant extra is capable to bind on this covid 19 spike protein so with this uh, we went to the snack uh, we so with this all 15 is a huge thing sometimes it's lead to the side effect so we we prepared the new formulation called snack we so we find the pattern for this new formulation from that kapusara kudini so with that we confirm that kapusara kudini had a covid 19 activity there so further prove that we went to that immunomodulatory property of that further we carried out two kind of activities the phagocytosis activity and nitro blue tetrasodium test for this kapusar kudini we can see that compared to the standard the antigen micro gram of kapusar kudini shown very good activity is the immune stimulant activity is all our water extract further we used nitro blue tetrasodium that also shown very good activity of that so it's prove that the kapusar kudini have the immune modulatory property that is immune stimulant property when compared to, it's equal to the standard further we also check the th- thrombolytic activity the kapusara kudini shown good thrombolytic property too and along with this further we went to the antioxidant activity so you know that now the covid treatment everyone telling take vitamin c also when we tested the, the kapusara kudini antioxidant activity the total antioxidant activity when compared to the ascorbic acid shown near to equal act- you can see the isbt value ascorbic acid showed 46.02 or the kapusara kudini shown 56.12 after total antioxidant activity further we went to further few more antioxidant tests like iron chelating abtcs activity everything you can see compared to the standard how much activity it showed nearly 84 90% activity it showed when compared to the standard ascorbic acid you can see the icbp also is very good one the ascorbic acid 44 and the kapusara kudini is 54.19 and also we have further another antioxidant test called apt scavenging also here also the you can see ascorbic acid standard shown 44.06 microgram per ml and the kapusara kudini showed the 51.63 microgram per ml icbp value so is all indicate the kapusara kudini 
have that immunomodulatory, particular immunostimulating activity and thrombolytic activity, and it also has the antioxidant potential too. But this evidence also alone is not enough. As I said, so far, uh, everyone telling that, okay, if we improve your immune system, it, it will kill our, the uh, virus or not. How we know that? Because in market, very few drugs are there. You know, when uh, the COVID started, everyone uh, used hyd hydrochloride, uh, chloroquine drug only everyone uses for the treatment, which is used for the malaria, right? It acts as a both antiviral as well as the immunomodulatory activity okay and after that uh, is not working well then the drug of choice is remedy severe okay that, that is the only drug they told it's working well is antiviral drug so we carried out the in vitro activity for that so we sent the our professor could in the regional center for biotechnology and sir biotech said for the bath we sent you can see that we got very interesting results so as i said remedy severe is a drug of choice currently everyone is saying when we use the kapasura kudi here with the water extract and DMS to extract, it's shown that 99 percentage of activity against E and N within 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours. We can put 24 hours post-infection and 48 hours to studies are carried out E and N. I think I shown in our, our target, what is the four things? One is the nuclear capsid and envelope protein. This is called E and N. So when we test the two target, it can capable to 90 is equal to the remedy survey. Okay, so even the remdesivir drug used 10 micromolar concentration, but the K KSK Kapsar Kodinir used 2 microliter, just 2 microliter we used. It showed that equal to that. So it's clearly indicated that the Kapsar Kodinir not only have that immunomodulatory activity, antioxidant, and it also have the antiviral properties. So clearly we got the evidence for that. So all are confidently can take the capacitor coordinator as, as per the physician direction, direction, not as per uh, our own morning, one time, evening, lunch, or whatever time I used to take. It should not be like that. Remember this. And this is the clinical research data. So in Tamil Nadu, several places uh, in GMC and ESA, they've given this. You can see that the clinical data clearly shown that a lot of patients are cured within 10, 15 days. They cured from the corona only given the capacitor kudini and alone as, as a treatment. So you can see some of the things here. The corona within five, five days they cured when using that uh, capacitor kudini for the treatment of COVID and our research and antiviral shield for the system. So our research also is highlighted in the newspaper. So the overall summary of this, so we called as Indian traditional medicine or Siddha medicines. So it capable to control the COVID-19, particularly that Professor Kudirir, what we are using. So the scientific evidence are clearly showing that it have that immunomodulatory, thrombolytic, and antioxidant, as well as it have antiviral property it have. It's scientifically proven very well now. So the government should promote this activity to the next level the government should allow to go in by o and others and what are the active ingredients present in that capacitor coding it should be isolated that now our team started to isolate this what is the major compound involved in this and we try to you know what is the mechanism for the how it killing this virus the study is we about to start so I am welcoming you all as a, I said, I am a president of Society of Chemical and Synthetic Biology. I am welcoming you all to join this society to promote this uh, chemical biology, particularly chemical biology and synthetic biology we want to promote in India, which we are lack. So these are all our collaborators. They are our team. So Dr. Satya, I am thanked to Dr. Satya Rajeshwaran, who is the assistant director and in charge of uh, CCRS, Ministry of Irish Government of India. And Director General Dr. Kanagwali Ma'am also and Dr. M. S. Tridhar Ma'am, Research Officer, CCRS, Ministry of Oil, Government of India, and Dr. Mohan Srinivasan, VIT, and Dr. Vishnu Kutri from Mumbai University, and Professor Lingshin Jong, Director of uh, Eastern University Technology, Shanghai. So, so we, we, even though we have all the things, prevention is better than cure. So I'm suggesting all, please stay back in your home on a few days more days and take a basar and healthy foods to prevent uh, 
by save by yourself that is a one limit because another two months of the rainy and cold season this is the time the corona started in china and us and everywhere so far we are in summer summer itself this many people affected means just imagine the cold and uh, the winter is coming to india now only we all know that and rainy also started so please be safe don't be go any crowded place everyone wear the mask and other place and along with the avoiding uh, go uh, please avoid most of the going outside as well as taking the healthy food parallelly don't avoid that so i want to complete my talk in this way the tamil uh, things no nadi no mudal nadi adu thanikku vai nadi vai pa sayal okay so food is a medicine i told that so unave marandu so please all take healthy foods to away from this all the infection not only corona future we will face lot of several other viral infection also or the the scientists we don't have any ready made medicine like antibacterial antimicrobial medicine and antiviral if you see the drug very few medicine only in the market the price also very very high so we can control only this through our food only so remember that so everyone take proper diet food natural foods okay and take kabasana continues to control this thank you one and all for this opportunity thank you very much thank you very much sir you. for that uh, very in- informative and insightful presentation dear participants if you have any questions please kindly post in the chat box Samandhan Kadarvela asked, various age groups and various comorbid conditions, what efficiency KSK will act? Uh, sir, so far the age group they took is, uh, who is about 25 they took for this um, clinical trial. So here have we shown only the few age groups, still several uh, trials are going. So that our another research team I shown, the Department of Ayush and uh, Stalin Medical College, uh, they are doing this research work. So still a lot of our results not uh, released officially. So so currently the age group uh, they took is now 25 to 45 age group people only they took for the study, clinical study. So other groups, people, they are writing government approval. Then after that only they will proceed further. Thank you very much, sir. Dear participants, if you have any queries to the resource person, you can kindly uh, post it in the chat box so that the speaker can answer. But I think your presentation was very clear, sir. They have appreciated, many have appreciated. Yeah, thank you, Mahindran, sir. Dr. Swati Paliwal has asked, is there any side effects if we consume for a longer period of time? Uh, so since, as I said, now only all the scientific evidence are creating, so far we we don't have any answer for that. Because uh, so far once infection come, only the Kapasura Kudinir, Nelayama Kudinir, all they took. Uh, some people facing the problem when the Kapasura Kudinir, if they not take it in the empty stomach, or uh, the rules is after taking this Kapasura Kudinir, within 30 minutes, you should take a breakfast. If you not take some people getting the gastric problem. So already we got this uh, information from the Siddha team. So for those people, they are telling you reduce the concentration of that. Even some people taking a high amount because the recommended is five gram. As I told, as per the phys- physician recommendation only you should take. But most of the people taking as per whatever quantity they want mix. When they are running for job, they want to take. Something as kapasar kudini, so just they're tricking and run away. As per now, the gastric side effects only they told, no other side effect they reported. Okay, sir. Thali Resen has asked, over intake of KSK will have any side effects? So that's a, the same thing only I said. So far, they reported only gastric problem effect only, no other side effects so far they reported. Because as I said, some of the people. Uh, 
uh, they just took a, a medicine in different uh, composition they're not taking in proper way right so we can't tell and uh, even some of the drugs uh, people like in india most of the people have diabetes bp for that also they they are taking several drugs so that study is also going it uh, whether a capsular could in along with all the medicine it leads to any side effects or not so for that still there is no scientific evidence the study is going on on this part okay sir sada mahendra asked the animal study should be done in this will be excellent i i hope the animal studies would have started no sir as far as your yeah sir is. yeah 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 right animal studies is also we are about to start because so far what the data i showed this everything done by me and my team only okay so we are uh, waiting for some grants because it need a huge fund to go like in by one mechanism level proving you know that so we wrote the grants so we are waiting for the ones we got the grant we can go proceed further like the animal model and others studies okay sir saravanand dhanush has asked uh, is there any contradiction uh, with uh, as far as ksk and elevenbe kudini is concerned nothing like that as uh, as uh, said the nelavembu kudinir is a well reported one as i said when the kapasura kudinir uh, have some gastric issue or all have that issue for them they are recommending to switch on to the nelavembu kudinir okay so there is a no problem you can take together or single anything as per your is not at all issue okay okay, okay sir shesha panindra has asked uh, since the beginning of covid the chinese government has been constantly pursuing uh, pushing TCM, traditional Chinese medicine as a cure, and also the who had also recommended TMC, while KSK and other similar TIM aren't promoted. Why? Uh, so this is a uh, once again is a matter of the government. So here uh, you must be seen that in starting days uh, the meeting uh, allopathy and the Indian uh, traditional medicine doctors they don't have the unity. Be frank if you speak. Okay, they don't have the. Uh, unity for that so this is one of the major lack okay in an indian any system they don't have any our siddha practitioner in the advisory board okay even they recommended in the starting of corona itself i know very well the siddha team the, and their doctor as they recommended this kapasur nilam starting itself but you know that due to other uh, politicals and uh, drug mafia kind of things this they not promoted well but once it got very severe then our tamil nadu government and indian government got alert and they start to promote slowly still it need a lot of promotion as you said that only government can do so as a researchers we are waiting for that yeah the dosage recommendation is as per age yeah as i said you should meet physician they will give you that trial because obviously depends on age it will be vary that's why i told without doc, uh, doctor prescription you should not take so please go nearby physician who is a siddha doctors particularly not all of the doctors so they will tell how much amount you should take and your child's everyone so the dose will be vary a little bit Jay Murugan has asked heart patients. I think he's asking, can heart patients take capsular kudinir? Uh, I hope. I I think they can take all the people's currently taking whatever the problems, but the gap should be there. That's why I told. For example, I told diabetes and BP, uh, allopathy drug. How much gap should be there when take capsular kudinir? The next allopathy tablet should take what time? How much time difference should be there? That you should consult with the physician. that's a clearly i am telling to you all so please don't take yourself okay so you should consult with siddha doctor then they will tell how much surely you can take there is no doubt but how much time gap should be there remember that that is the most important most of the time we forget that right even when we take start to take tablet drink one glass of water take all the tb uh, bp diabetes every day things we don't want to take in a single times right that is a big no lack of awareness we have so every tablet you do we should have some gap right even for drinking water we have the rules if we want to eat eat after 30 minutes only we should drink water itself we have the rules in our food tradition now scientifically also prove what is the need of that right so that's the things one i am keep on telling please consult the siddha physicians 
how much gap should be needed so kabir bolne ne can take away all the people there is no doubt but after that what gap they should take that up uh, all of the tablet should be clarified thank you thank you very much sir uh, i think with that uh, we come to the uh, end of the today's session now i request uh, dr j jayanti ma'am the convener of this uh, international uh, industry academy of conclave iaac 2020 and the dean research gurunanak center for research to kindly propose the vote of thanks ma'am please mahendra sir you just need to tell me whether i am audible yes. i am having some network issues yes ma'am it is you are you are audible ma'am yeah thank you very much sir a very good evening to one and all present here i feel very happy to propose a vote of thanks on the day 4 of the international industry academy of conclave on redefining phytomedicines for post covid era i on behalf of the gurunanak center for research gurunanak college wish to extend a very hearty thanks to our today's keynote speaker dr l karthik president society of chemical and synthetic biology project lead salem microbes private limited salem india for readily Ma'am, you're not audible, ma'am. Hello. Ah, uh, now it now it's okay, ma'am. Sir. Yes, ma'am. Now it's okay, ma'am. Now it's okay, sir. Yes, ma'am. Now it's okay, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'm grateful to our college management, especially our most revered general secretary and correspondent, Sadar Manjit Singh Nayar Ji. our beloved principal dr mg ragunathan sir for the constant support guidance and help for all the endeavors i thank our dean academics dr s savitri for delivering the welcome address for today's session i thank the vice principal student affairs vice principal shift to deans of all schools heads and faculty members of various departments of gurunanak college for their support and for all the center's activities last but not the least the participants from across the globe students research scholars faculties researchers teachers scientists and industry personals for active participant participation in today's session and all our programs once again i thank one and all present every here thank you very much uh, dear participants the feedback link has been posted in the youtube chat box so kindly fill the same to ensure your 